Hi guys, this is Kat and Josh from Kaboom. Welcome to our fourth Halloween Cups tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be showing you this bit. Alright, so we're going to need to know one of the patterns that we first taught you in Halloween Cups tutorial number three. And that sounded like this. So if you haven't learned that one, we recommend you go and check that out there first. Now what we're going to do at the moment is create a variation on it, which has three taps at the end instead of the two. So that will sound like this. One, two, three. So that in slow motion is right. Up, left, down, pass, right, down, right, left, right. So that gives us our three taps at the end. Let's try that one more time. Right, clap, up, left, down, pass, right, down, right, left, right. All right, to structure this, we're going to do the original pattern, which has two taps, followed by the new one, which has three taps, and then back to the original, which has two. Let's try that. Two taps, tap tap. Three taps, tap tap tap. And two, tap tap. Now at this point in the piece, there's going to be a little ending, which we're not going to teach you just now. We're going to save that for the next tutorial video, which will be number five. All right, the next button is one that we learnt in Halloween Cuts tutorial one, and it sounds like this. So that was tap. Tap, clap, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, down. If you need a refresher on that, go back to video one to look at that. But right now we're going to learn a variation on this, which sounds like this. Now, for this we start off the same as the original, which is tap, tap, clap. But then we do a slow up, tap, down. So that's right, left, right. Let's add that to what we've got. Tap, tap, clap, up, left, down. And then add on to that. Left hand picks up your cup and puts it down straight away. So all of that is tap, tap, clap, up, left, down, up, down. Now the structure for this is very similar to the last one where we play the original, then the variation, and then the original again. And that'll all sound like this. Now, if you're playing this with, with more than one person, you can combine these two patterns that we've learned today, which is what we do in the video. So one person will play the first pattern, which was... And the second person will play the second pattern... Put those together... Oh. That's all we have time for this week. We hope you had fun learning that one. Stay tuned for our next tutorial where we'll show you all the little in-between bits that finish off the rest of the piece. So we'll see you for that in two weeks. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Energy overload. Yeah.